Hi, this is Kevin with Advanced Leather Solutions. What you have in front of you here are two leather jackets, and I want to talk about the leather that you commonly find on leather jackets, particularly quality leather jackets. So the leather is produced in a way that is different than what you would normally find on a piece of furniture or in an automobile. The kinds of finishes that are used for jackets are, tend to be slightly different, uh, and it's important to understand that distinction. So what we're seeing here with these two jackets is something called a nitrocellulose finish. It's the kind of finish that when you look at it sort of gives you this glistening effect of when it was new. That glistening effect is a function of the way the top coats are applied and the chemistries of those top coats. That requires a specific kind of chemistry that you normally are not going to find in the field. This is a chemistry that you find in tanneries but not necessarily in companies like ours that are involved in repair and restoration. And so consequently, when we're doing a job where the client is complaining about scuffing and that kind of thing, for us to use a coloring process, we would not be able to match exactly this glistening effect that the nitrocellulose finish has. So coming up with an alternate strategy says that what we would end up doing is um, doing some uh, darkening effect on the leather so that it darkens in that, the scuffing, but it doesn't produce the, that glistening effect and it doesn't require the application of color. If you apply color to a, to a, a garment weight leather like this, uh, you are first of all going to be changing the finish. It will no longer be a nitrocellulose. And secondly, you'll be changing to some small degree the leather feel, the way the leather feels, but you will be changing. So let me show you an alternate strategy. So the alternate strategy is to use a chemistry that actually has some high amount of solids in it that will allow for us to be able to conceal something like this tiny scuff that we have right here. So if we can zoom in on that scuff and watch what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply a little bit of this material to the scuff and you can see how it soaks into the leather basically making the scuff essentially disappear. Light buffing action over the top and while I can detect that as being an area that we've just put some material on it because it doesn't have the same degree of glisten as the surrounding material it certainly looks a whole lot better than it did before. And then the second step in the process is we need to put a protection over the top of that. And so using our leather conditioner protector, we then are able to apply a protection over that affected area um, so that we are bringing this whole area of the leather back to a state that has such a degree of protection on it. We're at a point in the process where I wanted to show a comparison one arm or one cuff of the jacket compared to the other arm or cuff of the jacket that we haven't done. And so Josh is going to zoom down and take a look at the areas that we've worked in, an area that we haven't worked and I'm going to show you one additional step in the process. So this arm, as you can clearly see, has been done. This arm hasn't been. You can see the scuffing that still exists here, but the scuffing is far less evident on this side. So here's Part of one of the strategies we would use in something like this is to use something like an artist's paintbrush. We're not putting a lot of material down, but what we are doing is putting enough material down to lay down the chafing that the abrasion that created that discoloration represents. And so you can see that process. It's not, not uh, difficult. It's, what's key is the correct chemistries to be sure that what we're doing is coloring in uh, or coating in the leather that's been offended but not negatively affecting the way the leather feels or looks. So all of this is at the intent of making sure that we maintain the character of this piece um, being a nitro finish. When we began the project we understood that the leather that we were dealing with is a type of leather that has a nitrocellulose finish on it. This is a finish that allows for a really soft hand uh, and if we put color, uh, an extensive coloring uh, on this jacket, uh, there's no way that we would have been able to avoid a stiffening effect. And so what we did was a process that had us focus on the frayed and, and, um, and uh, chafed areas uh, and scuffed areas only. And we used a technique that did not include any color. But you can see when we look at the ends of the arms where, the, where that uh, scuffing was, there was significant scuffing here, there was tape residue from a, from a, a name tag here, um, there was a lot of scuffing and, and um, uh, color loss along this edge here, 
and of course all the way around the bottom in the classic place is where you would actually see this on a jacket like this. Um, all of the high points along where there are seams, um, of course the, across the shoulder, and you can see that we were able to bring this jacket back to very much like new, uh, but also the most important thing is we did not alter the way the leather feels. So if you'd like to know, learn more about this technique or learn more about what we can do uh, for your garments, give us a call, 510-786-6059, or go on our site, advleather.com, and send me an email. If you like what you see here, give me a thumbs up too. I'd appreciate it. Thanks.